I'm going to show you some of the products I've been loving for fall that I'm definitely going to use when winter comes. So first off, I'm going to start by talking about some hair products. And I don't know if you can see, but my hair is ombre, just a little bit. So I am going to color it lighter though, um, but right now this is good. So I've been living this L'Oreal Feria, um, what's it called? Feria Wild Ombre. And this is on um, number one ombre for light to uh, brown and dark brown hair. So I've really been liking this and it comes with this little brush thing that you like you put the hair color on or the dye or bleach actually <laughs> um, and you like brush it through your hair um, and it makes it really easy so I really do recommend this it's um, very easy to work with um, and there's a lighter one for blondes I think I don't think we have two colors in Denmark I'm not sure if they have other colors in other countries but here we only have for like blondes and then like dark hair um, so that I've also been living this uh, hair argan oil um, this is just from our local like drugstore, or not local, <laughs> like the drugstore that we have here in Denmark uh, called Maytes, and it's like it's their brand. So in boots, you have some boots brands in England and stuff, and they have their own brand here as well. And this is just the hair argan oil, and I just put one or two pumps in the the ends of my hair, and it makes it so soft and easy to manage, and it doesn't weigh my hair down. It doesn't. It's just really nice. I've been loving this L'Oreal Skin Perfection. Uh, serum um, and this is um, the L'Oreal like skin series for like younger skin so it's made for like 20s to 30s like when you're in your 20s 20s and 30s so it's really nice for like younger skin um, this is just a serum and it just sinks into my skin so so quickly and I really like that and with this I have the L'Oreal skin perfection um, oh, this is from Germany. Um, cream? Day cream? I use it for day and night. It's quite thick and nice and it, you can really feel it moisturize your skin. So I really, really enjoy that. Um, I don't like when moisturizers like make your skin feel like not dry, but like, yeah. I just, I like it when it's very like soft and I can really feel the moisturize on my skin. I mean, I want it to go in, sink into my skin quickly, but I also want to feel that it's there so I don't feel like I'm putting stuff on that doesn't do anything, if that makes sense. Um, but it's really nice. I also have the eye cream, but I'm just testing that out, um, so I can't really say if I love it so far. And I also really like this little uh, like um, face scrubber thingy from Soap and Glory. I don't remember the name, but I will put it down below. Um, I really do enjoy this. Um, I use it with my Nivea Daily Wash something. It's just like a normal face wash. And I use it in the shower or whenever I want to wash my face. And it just really gets in there and it really cleans out my pores around my nose. And it's really nice. I really do enjoy it. I think it was only like four or five pounds. Not, not that that's really cheap, but I mean, this will last you for a very long time. Um, I do have a scrub from L'Oreal, I do not remember the name, but it has one of these thingies with it, like it comes with one of these. Um, so I mean if you want to buy like a face scrub with a scrubber, rubber silicone thingy, you could, you could do that. Moving on to makeup. Um, I just have a few lip products. I have this one first, the Maybelline um, Color Sensational Lipstick in Hot Plum. Um, 906 is the number of that and I really like it. It's kind of like a purpley pink. It's really nice. So if you're not like, if you don't have the courage to like wear a total purple lip, you could go with this because this is kind of pink, kind of purple and it's really nice. Um, I think it actually was in the spring collection because we don't have the fall collection here yet. So I hope it's going to come soon because I really want to get my hands on it. But until then, I have this one, Hot Plum. Um, then I also have another one called Feel Pink, um, but I don't know where it is right now. And I'm really sad because I used that lipstick so much, but I can't remember where it is. Um, but it's the same, um, like, 
collection, I think, is to, or not just a normal Maybelline collection, um, but it's called Feel Pink. Um, I have a review of that and of the Hot Plum on my blog, so I'll list that below um, so you can check that out. Moving on to face products. I have been loving this blush from L'Oreal. It is uh, Le Blush in Rosewood. Rosewood. Um, and it's just, mine is totally broken, but because I've had it for such a long time, so this just came out, but I mean. Um, it's really nice, like, kind of kind of dark, and it has a little bit of like, not shimmer, but like sheen to it, so it kind of, I wouldn't say it highlights, but it like, it give you, it gives you a natural, like, sheen to it, like, yeah. Um, and it's just a really nice fall color, because it's a bit, it's a bit darker, and it's not so, like, corally, or like, you know, um, like you, you would use over the summer. So I really, I really enjoy this blush. Then I have been loving this concealer from Maybelline and it's the uh, Instant NCH Effect Concealer. And this is in 1.0 Light. And I don't know if mine's like, I don't know, like broken or something, but I mean, I need to like twist it so many times before anything comes out and I, it just, I mean, I just used like half of it in maybe a month and I don't use that much concealer. So I don't know if mine's broken, but it does really cover very nice and it really covers the dark circles and um, it doesn't crease too bad on me. It has a little sponge applicator, so uh, that's quite nice to apply it with, but I do blend it out with the brush or my fingers because, you know, it's just gonna smear more product around. So I do, I do blend it out. Um, then I've really been liking this um, brush from Benicos or Benicas, I think it's a German brand that we just got in Denmark. Uh, it's quite cheap, but it's like perfume free and stuff. So, I mean, that's good for people who's like allergic to perfumes or like parabens or whatever. But it's this angled br uh, blush brush and it's like really soft and really nice and it just really applies it nicely, blends it out. Um, I don't like the wooden handle because I can't touch things that's like wooden um, that isn't like that doesn't have stuff on it to like make it not feel wooden so I, I mean I can't I only touch the middle part but I'm gonna do something about that um, but I really like this brush I have also been loving another brush this is from elf and this is the complexion brush it's just kind of a big fluffy brush um, I have one for powder that I use but I also really like this for bronzer so and I use it with my um buddy shop Bronzing powder, the honey bronzing, the honey bronzing powder. Just this bronzer from the Buddy Shop. I'm already. I hit pan. Oh my gosh! Um, but I do use it every day. So I have been loving this, but I've been loving this throughout like summer as well. It's just like it's a matte bronzer. It's really nice. So I just put some on, put the brush and hair. And, like I don't really contour that much. Um, if I'm not like going out, I just like put some on to get some like, color back into my skin. So yeah, but I really, really like this for um, bronzer and blending out blush as well. All right, moving on to eye products. I have been loving for a long time, but really the last couple of months as well. The Maybelline one by one, my my writing has like disappeared. I use this too much. Um, but I really like this. It has quite a big brush, but it really separates the lashes. Um, but I really like it. It separates the lashes. It gives some volume and I mean, it's perfect for me. Then I've been loving the Essence Eye Heart Stage. Eye Heart Stage eyeshadow base. Um, it's just, it's really cheap and it's really good. I mean, it's as good as my Urban Decay Primer Potion. This does not make anything crease on me. It holds everything in place, like all day plus all night, and nothing creases, nothing disappears. It's really good, and it's like a fraction of the price of the uh, Primer Potion. Um, and I, I do have like, a, I mean, eyeshadows will crease on my eyelids if I don't put on a base. Um, like, it will crease a lot, but this prevents it, so it's really good. Other than that, I've been loving two Sephora products. We only have one. No, actually, we do have two Sephoras in Denmark, but they're all like three hours drive away from me, so can't get there very often. But I do like this Sephora Jumbo Cre Jumbo Liner 24-hour wear waterproof. Um, 
in 05 beige and it's just like a big like jumbo crayon I use it like all over the lid I blend it on my fingers put some eyeshadow over it and it's really good and this color has some shimmer to it so it's really nice and I also put it just uh, right up under my um, brow bone to highlight so I mean it's very versatile um, then I've also been loving this Sephora contour eye pencil and this is also waterproof this is an 08 sun tan it does have shimmer it's this like golden kind of bronzy color so last but not least I've been loving a few MAC eyeshadows so I've been loving these three this is sketch I do not know if you can hear me but this is sketch and then I've been loving um, what's it called swish chocolate and kid so what I do like also what I have on today I just put on the Sephora jumbo pencil thing all over the lip, blend it out with my fingers. I put um, some kid like in the crease, just blend it out with a big fluffy brush, and put some Swiss chocolate um, just to define the crease a little bit more. Um, on other days, I will take maybe a nude eyeshadow on like uh, on the whole lid, and then just put Sketch um, in the crease, which is just a really nice um, like dark burgundy purple color um, with a bit of shimmer, but that's really nice. Um, yeah, so that's my fall favorites that I'm quite sure I'll be using uh, through the winter as well. I really hope you enjoyed watching, um, and I'll see you next time. Bye!